Hello everyone, it's Mystic Juicer back with some more Yomi action, and this is Riker versus Southpaw Hair in the reverse draft format. Um, this is a, an odd kind of drafting format. You, you are essentially drafting for your opponent's team. Um, you're choosing what characters they're going to play, and then it plays out. Once you've got a team of four, it plays out in a standard kind of double blind first pick, player match, whoever loses has to switch characters and you can't pick a character who has lost before. So you essentially have a team of four, once they're eliminated, you're out. So first to four tournament should be pretty fun. Uh, let's see what their teams are. Okay, so Gwen, Argagarg, Setsuki, and Persephone for South Pahair. And Riker has Manelker, Valerie, Quince, Gloria. Ooh, I like Riker's team way more. Um, I mean, giving somebody Setsuki is pretty... Uh, I don't know. That could be questionable. Depends on what you got, though. I guess he's got Quince. Um, yeah, so Riker has Quince to deal with Setsuki. Um, I assume he's just not all that worried about Gwen. Manelker is... I think pretty good against that cast. Valerie is very strong. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. I think this, it's an interesting format just because uh, a lot of it depends so much on what your opponent is comfortable playing. Um, actually, yeah, no grapplers at all. So, I mean, obviously you're not going to see Troc because he's considered a very, very, very strong character, especially especially against just general characters. Uh, you know, he has his counter picks, but uh, generally very, very good matchup spread. But we're seeing Manelker versus Argarg in first round. So uh, Manelker has uh, some hand destruction abilities that don't particularly matter, I think, against Argarg as much. Argarg is basically one of those characters that, so long as he has all options in his hand, doesn't really care what he has. Um, is the way I've kind of heard it described. Um, his, uh, his innate basically means that he wants to play a longer game. The longer the game he plays, the more it's going to pay off for him. Nice bone cracker. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> Southpaw not even yeah, choosing. So he could counter this if he, if he had a counter and wanted to, uh, but choosing not to do so. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I assume you just get rid of the queen, and then, I mean, you can't really cross up. Uh, you can try for, actually, yeah, this, if he's got a black king, this could be absolutely horrendous for Southpaw right now. Um, if Southpaw manages to draw, so, we'll see if, if Riker has a black king, I think he takes the knockdown. Oh, okay, no, choosing to just try to put him on a low hand. Um, so... Pretty good indicator he does not have the checkmate option of Black King. Um, and that's pretty good. Puts Argagarg on a known kind of small hand that doesn't deal all that much damage. Oh, okay. Now I'm actually really surprised that he didn't just take the knockdown. I mean, unless he's got... Oh, wow, okay. So he might just have DSD. <laughs> So is he going to just dodge into DSD here? Southpaw so Hare has to pick between attacking into a dodge or dodging. Okay, no, Riker choosing to block. He's going, hoping to find some free value here. Riker from basically blodge for the next few turns with very little, very little risk uh, and with significant reward. Uh, he saw that Southpaw has not drawn a throw yet. Okay. Does draw the throw, um, and in fact, Southpaw Hare blocked with the the unknown card that he drew. So again, uh, I like the nine throw there, given given how much information uh, Riker had about his hand. And Riker might just be perfectly happy to threaten DSD uh, and just play with the remaining five cards in his hand. Oh, there we go. This could be 55. Wow, no face down. 
<laughs> does does Riker even have it though? Is the question. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, it gets rid of the five. So now he can he can do something really some really disgusting stuff. If he's got a two attack. Um okay, okay. No, nope. Southpaw Hair goes for the Oh that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So at any time he could have powered up the threes to get a block and an attack. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So the uh, cross up king wasn't as real as I initially thought. Ooh, nice seven throw. This is going to lead into basically no damage, though. Basically have to take the knockdown. Yeah. Knockdown, and now you threaten cross-up. And hope uh, Riker does something desperate. Is it going to be wake-up DSD? <laughs> Given that it was confirmed not real. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, South by Hair is basically on a counter here. Okay, never mind. He makes it real, or should make it real, unless he gets... Okay. All right. Now we have actual, factual, confirmed DSD in hand. Uh, Riker has used three of his 12 dodges. Ooh, nice seven throw. South by Hair. Unfazed by the threat of 55. Can attempt cross up into ace ace for significant damage here. We'll leave his hand basically empty though. Nicely diffuses DSD. Really greedy from uh, from Riker. <laughs> There's really no reason that he had to wake up with uh, <laughs> with DSD there. But well, that's fine. That's fine. Definitely letting South by Hair back into this match. Keeping things exciting. Wow, the tennis of throws. The tennis of throws, though. Turns out Argogarg's ability is just that much stronger than... Uh, it was like water confirmed better than the Dark Arts. <laughs> We're like crash and throw, am I right? Eh? Oh... Okay, a lot of cheekiness happening here. Riker has a chance to just absolutely cripple uh, Southpaw's hand here. I think this is the third bone cracker that he's landed. Yep. Sort of single ace. Will he attempt cross up shenanigans here? Threatening the fact that he has a two. Southpaw hair immediately going to double aces. So two aces and a mystery card for Southpaw here. Twenty-seven health is uh, not a great life total. Yeah, cross up four beauty, the cheekiest cross up attempt. Oh, into Black King, the despair combo. We got the despair combos though. If he has another Black King or a Jack, this could be absolutely disgusting. South by Hair might be top deck fish mode. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what to say, like, oh, no, no, it can't be it. Yeah, there we go. Zero cards in hand. Top deck Argagar confirmed. Let's see how he does. Even life totals. Menelker with four, four, uh, five cards to one. This card advantage, though. Uh, have seen a uh, single queen from Riker so far. Ooh. Undercut. <laughs> the eight scoops. Raisins confirmed, and now every every knockdown turn is so much more powerful for Riker uh, going forward. He can he can play like super mathy. Just have a look at what uh, what blocks he's got, how many queens he has left. Anytime Southpaw draws a queen, I expect that to hit the table. I mean, obviously with a single card in hand, that's his only choice. But just generally, <laughs> it's going to be pretty sweet. 
see if Southpaw can turn this around. He's looking good when he uh, when he defused DSD, but ooh, yeah. I mean, definitely if you're going to play one of those sides, you are playing the attack side there. So it gets undercut with the two, just into Jack for nine damage. And now Argagarg in Queen lethal range. What can he do? So he has now the option if he draws an attack and a dodge, he can choose to attack or dodge. Oh, these checkmates. Just looping checkmates, and that is it. Double pumps with Joker to close it out. Nicely done. Riker with some swag at the end there. Recovering from uh, his DS disaster. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so Southpaw Hare has Gwen, Setsuki, somebody else? No, that was pretty strong. Riker's goonery paid off. <laughs> it was something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Black face cards were uh, particularly friendly, and yeah, hitting... <laughs> Hitting all of your sevens is a pretty good strategy. I would highly recommend. Uh, if you're going to play Manalka, you definitely, you definitely want to win combat with your seven, uh, seven throws. All right, so Southpaw having a think. He has... Okay, so we are gonna see Gwen. Let me just double check who they're playing. Uh, okay, so after this he has Setsuki and Persephone. Riker still having uh, Valerie, Quince, and Gloria. Oh my goodness! Oh god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> this is not... Yeah, this is not... Ooh, oh, gives up a queen. Interesting, okay. I guess uh, choosing to, uh, I guess the reasoning is, oh man, 20 damage off of two cards. That is brutal. Is he going to get the jack back? Tell me you get the black jack back. No, okay, okay. Immediately gets queen back. Yeah, I'm actually surprised at the discard of the queen from Southpaw. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously in this matchup against the character who can recur... 0, 0.0 speed queens that deal more damage and force you to discard cards. Um, not particularly good. Nice. Nice block. Um, gonna give him a bit of that life back. And uh, get him some more cards. Building up a little bit more. I'd like to see Southpaw just chill and block for a bit. Um, until he's got 13 cards in hand and really has to make decisions. Nice. This is a really good undercut here for Southpaw. Yeah, immediate face down from Riker. And it was a real Joker, and Southpaw plays it safe. Choosing to poke into an even larger hand size. I expect this game to go pretty fast, actually. Um, both of these characters have incredibly low hit points. And Riker just continuing to play scared of throws. Just putting pokes out there. Yeah, expect to see pick up Queen again. Yeah. Just going to threaten that. Southpaw making uh, Dreadlands Portal or combo into Ace a threat. See if Riker is a student of the copper method. Ooh, he is not. Okay. I like picking up the queen just to force Southpaw Hair essentially not to attack with Slow Jack. Um, considering Riker has been playing fairly. He's just been playing like normal attacks to try to get back into a hand and protect himself from throws. Okay, goes to block now, uh, recognizing that South Bahir is not yet willing to throw him. Uh, are we going to see Relentless Strikes here? Yes, okay, and good Relentless Strikes damage. 
Six to the dome. Nelker does uh, build a card off of that, I believe. Yeah, I think that's slightly better than card neutral. I think you go up one card, yeah. Nice. Raw Dreadlands Tickle for 22. Leaves uh, Riker with 30 hit points remaining against Southpaw's uh, 60. However, Riker still with that uh, Black Queen in hand. Has not yet seen fit to uh, loose it upon the world. Southpaw Hare getting to uh, hand sizes where Gwen really can no, lo can no longer afford to sit back and block. Um, okay. See another Relentless Strikes attempt here. Okay, so another six damage, not bad. Riker down to 24 hit points. Okay, picking up another ace. Uh, so Dreadlands is not real. Ooh, and it is never going to be real again. So that, uh, that into Oblivion doing double duty here because uh, South by Hair just picked up an ace. Yeah, and very unlikely that he would have done that without having the other ace in hand. So pretty brutal. So no more super throws. He's going to have to throw him the honest way. The uh, very susceptible to Joker way. Although uh, Riker has already spent one of his Jokers. Uh, no Jokers yet played uh, by Southpaw Hare. Both of these characters have 0.6 speed uh, sevens. Ooh. Could see one of those Jokers disappear right here. Yep. And that is gone, and a handful of nothing, basically. Uh, let's see. He could throw for... 6 into 6 for 12, plus 8 for 20. Uh, but that is not quite enough. Ooh, big damage too. Putting Southpaw down to 33. Uh, he still has a Black Queen in hand. Okay, immediately powers up. Takes the second ace into his hand. He now has lethal on the board off of throw. Uh, depending on if he has picked up a jack or a king, he might have it off of attack as well. Nice dodge. Uh, dodge into jack or dodge into ace-ace here. Wow, had the other joker. Okay, so has single black queen and two mystery cards. South by here is not going to die to queen yet. Although if one of these other cards is a queen, uh, it's going to be pretty ugly. Ooh, there we go. This is going to be 16. rid of the eight. Yeah, pumps for maximum. Papa has to get around queens. The unfortunate... <laughs> Melker's awesome. Shush. Shush. <laughs> Yeah, so Southpaw here has to be careful about... He just has to... He just always has to consider whether he's going to die to Queen. Um, yeah, there it is. Unless he has drawn the other Joker in the meantime. Ah, he did! Okay. Still in Still in this. Still in this. He, is, he has exactly one combat uh, to kill Riker. And he has both aces in hand, so he can do this off of a throw or off of an attack. So it's either going to be seven throw or king. 
and you hope that uh, Riker has not picked up a uh, another queen. And Southpaw do it. The magic pixel. It all comes down to this. Oh, runs into the king attack, and that is it for game number two. Riker's Manelker doing work. Continuing the, the stylish double pumps. So who will Southpaw here bring out next? Okay, switches to Satsuki. So nice thing about uh, this matchup, I guess, for Satsuki is that though she does have to contend with another character who trades nicely with queens, uh, dealing eight damage and, and getting her to discard a card versus the one damage that she deals with her queens, uh, all black face cards are actually going to kind of help her to get to zero cards. Um, so South by Hair immediately doing something that 5 Ek would not approve of, which is blocking on the first turn. There we go, that's more like it. 5 Ek approval meter is, is going up and down. And immediately throws the card he revealed last turn, so just trying to empty his hand, I suppose. Okay, actually picks up an ace, so likely has a second ace in hand. So I was about to say, uh, you know, South by Hair might play a different breed of Setsuki where you, uh, you know, you play with a relatively high hand, to try to get the resources you need. Okay, so yeah, something is definitely happening here. Uh, could just be trying to. Uh, get out as many queens as Riker is willing to play in this early game. Uh, nice thing about Manelker in the matchup is that he also has a 2.2 speed king, which contends with, which is basically going to cover or trade uh, with all of Setsuki's normal attacks. So that she always has to be spending either a queen or a jack, and even those are covered nicely by Manelker's queens. Okay, Southpaw going in with another jack. Trying to go for max damage combos here. Does have uh, two aces locked and loaded, it seems like. Nice dodge. Okay, just goes into throw, continuing to hold on to aces for pressure. Uh, not willing to get rid of those quite so early. Okay, it goes for the cross up three, gets blown up with an ace. Riker sitting on pretty high hand Monalker here. Okay, does not have the second ace to pump with. 22 damage would be pretty sweet in that position. So even life totals and Monalker at 10 cards in hand. So every turn it is more and more likely he's going to have the resources to be able to start looking for uh, black face cards. Southpaw here does find him with a throw, so if he can dump his hand, and it's very unlikely that he can, I expect him to uh, go in on this. Okay, does anyway. Okay, just going for knockdown. Riker spending the actual factual joker. Uh, Southpaw here holding on to the aces uh, in his hand. Hedging against the joker being there by <clears throat> setting himself for the cross-up attempt or at least the cross-up mind games. Playing a kind of mid-range Setsuki, it looks like. <laughs> very, very even life totals. Okay, hit someone with another seven throw. No face down this time. This is going to lead into surprise gift for 27. Manelker definitely on the ropes here. Speed of the Fox activates. <laughs> Moth, Moth trying to uh, <laughs> have the upper hand. I don't get it. 
Oh, I see. Ten card hand. Yes. Yes. I know jokes. I get references. I'm hip with it. Uh, so the question is, does Minelker do a seven throw here, or is he going to black queen? Or if he smells a throw, is he going to go for something incredibly ghoulish, like slow jack? Okay. Wants to play it safe, just, just blocks. <laughs> Moth letting the people know. <laughs> Okay. All right. Fears on the other foot now. Actual factual DSD confirmed. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and Black Queen. Okay, wow. He's got the he's got both sides of the mix up now. <laughs> okay. Southpaw going for uh surprise gift. So two aces confirmed in hand. Uh, Southpaw has lethal, probably off of both aggressive sides of the triangle. I feel like that's DSD. Nope, okay. All right. Southpaw hair was on my side on that one. It's going to get hit by... Uh... <laughs> Gonna get hit with 16 here. Okay, discarding a king. Yeah, he's gonna be able to discard his hand uh, no matter what he draws. So he's probably got another jack. No, he spent all four jacks. So he might have, he might have another king, uh, or he might have uh, queens at this point. I really hope he's drawn a joker. The jacks indicates to me he probably has the Joker. Okay, Riker starting to dodge. You shake and shimmy, as it were. <laughs> that was your chance. Yeah, South by Hair showing him the block. Will he block two turns in a row is the question. And will he be punished for his hubris in doing so? Come on, South by Hair. You can close this out. Make the man bleed. Oh no! 55. And Riker cleans it out. 55. Ugh. So much damage. Turns out Setsuki only had 15 hit points that round. Them big supers. And Riker. Man enough to put it on the table and play it raw. <laughs> Rewarded with the pack. Disgusting. <laughs> Alright. Can Southpaw Hair bring it all the way back with Persephone? Offering <laughs> Dragon Rumpus. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible life decision. <laughs> All right, I like it. Immediate first turn dodge. Gonna go into Jack here. Okay. The first. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done, Wampa. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> South by Hair finally. <laughs> South by Hair finally letting fly with some uh, brutality of his own. Okay, powering up for Ace. Riker with. Two aces already in hand. Disgusting. Can he land his 
second Death Strike Dragon. Nope, it's just going to be a billion king damage. So not a black king. Yeah, so no follow-up, actually. Uh, I like the bluff from South by Hair. Persephone gains a lot from bluffing because she just needs a knockdown to get that card back. Um, so no reason not to, especially against uh, uh, a Manelker who may just decide to go in. Ooh, okay. Riker gets around Mistress's Command. Southpaw trying to humble the Dragon Master. Okay, there we go. Get that knocked down. Probably going to pick up a... Uh, yep, picks up the... Oh, wow! Okay, I'm not sure about playing that so soon. I suppose it depends a little bit on what's in his hand, but I feel like just getting card there and then having secret AA might be better. Trying to see... Oh... Oh, no, 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 that was from the previous game. So who had the aces? Yeah, it is Riker that had the aces. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh! Oh, oh shit. The value. <laughs> Double shock. Oh, boy. Ace transfer complete. Okay, Southpaw unwilling to throw. Perhaps looking for immediate gold burst from Riker. Or was looking again uh looking to find his way around a queen. Okay. Southpaw here caught with uh, perhaps no dodges in hand. Which is unfortunate. Riker defending himself from throws with the, the only way he knows how, with massive normals. Yeah, he's definitely got to do something to get back in this. Ooh, nice queen. Very likely top deck queen. Just cue it, yeah. Pumps it once for 12 damage. <laughs> um... Moth with more wins on the table than Southpaw right now. <laughs> How does he do it? <laughs> oh no! Southpaw's Mistress's Command gets undercut by the two. Yeah. <laughs> Riker with the close shave that he didn't know about. Just going for damage and has evened up the life totals uh, quite significantly. He is basically a queen away from even here. Uh, throw, probably? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so far, yeah, dude. Typically. <laughs> Typically, that's what people are afraid of with Persephone. I mean, yes, it also does hedge against Mistress Command, but... Oh, no! <laughs> Footsies! <laughs> Footsies! <laughs> so this is probably not going to lead into anything. Um, there's no way that Southpaw can kill here. Uh, he might go 6 jack, pump, pump, pump. Yeah, okay. We're going to find some damage here. Oh, no. Wow. The Joker's... Joker is definitely on Riker's side this game. There was, there was brief betrayal where, uh, where Southpaw jokered that Deathstrike Dragon, but um, no, they are, they are definitely heeding their master, it turns out. So South by Hair, not out of this yet, still has still has about a 20 life lead. Uh, dealing with a low hand uh, Manelker is pretty good. 
No uh, bone crackers yet. Oh, single seven played. Both by hair having a think. Unsure what he wants to do. Nice. When in doubt, queen the man. He's afraid of being thrown, so poke this guy. Putting Riker at 17. Basically, any throw. If Southpaw here has another jack in hand, any throw or attack is going to be lethal. Yeah, Riker putting a king on the table still does not want to be thrown. Southpaw hair, ooh, getting hit with some big combos here. Evens things up, but that leaves Riker with two cards in hand. Immediately plays one of them. Is this the seventh throw? That is what Southpaw has been uh, worried about this whole time. Okay, plays the two, trying to dodge another uh, please don't throw me attack from Riker. Does, does Southpaw hair have a seven throw? He does. Oh no! Oh man. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, he does have the sevens. <laughs> He got cracked! Okay, so, Southpaw with uh, lethal off of throw? Yeah, 6, 12, 17, exactly lethal off of wake up 7 throw, if it lands. Um, Riker, all he has to do is push a normal attack here. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Riker, you goon. You dummy. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Sad. Well, sometimes, I mean, he we saw his hand. He doesn't, he didn't have it. I approve going for it, though. I like going for it. I, I mean, none of that was actually dumb. <laughs> In spite of the shit... Like, in spite of how insane that 6 attack looked, uh, Southpaw Hare had lethal off of throw 5-6. So, punishing that in the highest way possible, and then maybe getting killed. And there we go, okay. Whew! Southpaw Hare puts one on the board. Cleans things up. One card in hand apiece. <laughs> it was basically a scramble the entire match long. So, who are we going to see uh, Riker counterpick Persephone with? So he has Valerie, probably Valerie? Valerie, Quince, and... Gloria? Ah, oh, Gloria, okay. Light versus darkness, friendship versus sadism. See how it goes. So every overdose is going to deal insane damage. <laughs> he lived to death. Um... And Persephone, I mean, Persephone, I feel like, has some incredibly good tools in the matchup. Uh, considering every knockdown basically does double duty for her. Um, knocking down Gloria, getting her, you know, getting Persephone cards, uh, preventing Gloria from healing. All of that is real good. If you can keep the loop going. Yeah, immediate barrier soul so he can get it back. The only thing that uh, Persephone has to deal with is the fact that all of Gloria's attacks are 2.2 speed. All of her kings, all of her jacks, except for her queens, which are 1.0. Uh, so getting a cross up is very unlikely. We're probably going to see mostly dodges into throw, dodge into AA, or raw throw, or raw AA. So, gets the first throw. 
has barrier soul. Uh, let's see, what did he put aside? Two, four, and two. Yeah, okay, chooses to give him hearts because he cannot heal with hearts. So denying him everything but heart cards is a fine way to go. Does choose to give him the two rather than the four though. Bit of a tell that he's not going for a cross-up attempt. So Riker right now has a two of hearts, the ace of hearts, and some mystery cards. It's going to be from Southpaw. Having to think about it. Wow, wake up throw from Riker. So Southpaw had just nothing in hand. Uh, definitely no dodges in hand. Immediate overdose. This is going to fish those cards right out of Barrier Soul. Southpaw has to think about. Yeah, so it gives him the four, and I expect him to deny him the two. Just because he can use that to power up with the two that he already has. Yeah. Good stuff. Don't want to give Gloria access to Sun and Moon. Do not want to accidentally take 29 damage to the face. Okay, immediate 10 again. Nice. Catches two non hearts uh, healing spheres. Sniperoni. <laughs> yeah. So, can Southpaw get out of this? Okay, immediate Joker. Filling his hand with aces. This is going to prevent the draw from Riker, though. Uh, so it's going to give him a chance to power up and save those tens. Okay. And expect... Uh, yeah. Forces all three of those to the discard. Could have risked giving him the three, um, but that just gives him... gives Riker one more opportunity to uh, try to power up and save his tens so better to just get rid of him nice hits him with the seven throw again he's going to pick up the ten again yeah continue his deck destruction South by hair does have two aces in hand wow finds the joker as well uh, this is looking pretty brutal. It's not a lock, but uh, yeah, these are some <clears throat> these are some absolutely value cards that he is uh, catching here. <laughs> yeah, these draws have to be illegal. <laughs> it's value city. Ooh, okay, gets the block. This is going to be an immediate discard. Ah, fluffiness joining us. <laughs> immediately happy to see uh, Persephone doing some work really why would why would you not force those to, dis to the discard I feel like that was a misplay on Southpaw Hare's part why why allow Riker to shuffle a joker back into his deck I would have laughed really hard if he sniped the Joker again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I think, I feel like that was a misplay. Okay, Riker finds his, the only healing sphere that uh, South by Hare cannot deny him uh, because he can continuously get the 10 back. 44 to 48. Power up from Riker for a single ace. Ooh, immediate dodge. Putting Southpaw Hare on his back. No longer has the aces in hand. And uh, not particularly valuable barrier souls, I think. 
Got an eight and a four. Okay, it chooses to give him the eight. Uh, I suppose that's fair. He's already used two eights that last combat. Okay, Riker getting the Ace of Hearts back. So, if I'd been paying better attention, I should know what's in Riker's hand right now. Um, but paying attention is hard, and I'm on, I'm on vacation, so... Somebody at home, leave a, leave a comment. <laughs> yeah, she can't escape, you just gotta knock her down. You gotta K, KD loop her. Nice block. Southpaw gets around that queen. No overdose from Riker. He's not far enough ahead that he's uh, and and with high enough uh, hand size to uh, to be able to just try to force the end game. Uh, does get two aces in hand. So Persephone's ace is 0.4 speed. Gloria's triple ace starter 0.6 speed. Okay. So that is why we saw the uh, raw AA come out earlier. Trying to undercut a uh, either a face card or triple ace, or even double ace, which is point, uh, 2.0, I believe. Yeah, 2.0. It's a good position to undercut normal uh, cross-up normals. Ooh, there we go. That's one way of breaking a sphere. Let's Riker on the ground. 16 damage is going to get an a, a card back. Does he have an ace in the discard? Yes, he does. Okay. Single ace, back in hand. <laughs> That's this is this is correct, fluffiness. Okay, not particularly good uh not particularly good um uh bear your soul, but does get to control draws. So single ace in hand for Southpaw makes dodge that much stronger. Oh wow, went for raw ace. Looking to close it out. Instead gets hit with the mighty 23 damage uh, uppercut from uh, from Gloria. Now, if Riker has two Jokers in hand, if Riker has two Jokers in an ace, this is GG. Okay, Southpaw going for another ace. Uh, Southpaw has to be willing to recognize that he may need to play a queen to undercut a queen into a uh, blue burst uh, strategy from Riker. Because uh, it may be that dodging does not allow uh, any chance of staying uh, in this set. If, uh, if Riker plays a fast attack covered by blue burst, uh, then Southpaw Hare has to have a queen in hand um, or have ace ace. Okay. Uh, so he does not get. Okay, he didn't have any queen of hearts in the discard. Immediate play from Riker. Nice throw from Southpaw, but it still might not be enough. Yeah, if this is a joker, you have to follow through. You have to follow through or you're dead. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. GG. So, yeah, there were two two avenues of... I guess that was completely safe. There was no way to actually uh, get the kill there. And with Overdose, Riker wins with a single hit point. Nicely played by Riker. Beautiful set by him. <laughs> Um, a hell of an exciting set to watch, so uh, thank you Southpaw for letting me know this was happening. Uh, thank you everybody for watching, and uh, 
enjoy yourself some uh, some Yomi in the future. If you'd like to get in on the action, of course, check out the description in the uh, below the video, and I will see you all next time. Ciao.